So we all know that ChatGPT is super powerful. It can write code. It can do images with Dolly 3. Now it's going to help us make our own ChatGPTs. ChatGPT is going to help us make our own ChatGPTs. I know it sounds crazy, but it can do things like make things for coloring books or make a style specific style. Maybe we want to do a kawaii style chat GPT or so on. The, there's so many different ways to do it. I'm going to show you some that are already made and I'm going to show you how to make your own in this video. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I'm going to talk about chat GPT creating another chat GPT or GPTs. You can create your own custom GPTs within chat GPT. And the reason why I think this is really powerful and I think uh, this is really helpful for print on demand specifically is you can select a specific style and not have to write those prompts over and over again. So you can do a GPT just for posters in that aspect ratio. You can do a GPT just for stickers or a GPT that just does kawaii style and you don't have to say make this in kawaii style and things like that. So there's already one out there that does coloring books. I'm going to show you that, uh, how cool it is. And you can just say do a coloring book in this style, 10 pages, boom, it's done. And you don't have to write any more prompts of that. Super simple. So it can simplify your prompts and everything and the GPT will just know what you want it to do. So let's go into chat GPT right now and I'll show you everything, uh, the ones that are out there already and how to make your own. All right, so here we are on chat GPT and what I wanna show you is super cool, but first, this is just for members or plus members. So if you go on here and you look at my plan, I'm using the plus membership, $20 a month. So if you're doing this for free, you may not get these things that I'm showing you, but if you're on $20 a month, I think uh, you'll see that it will pay for itself. So I'm gonna show you how to get there. First, there's two ways. You can open and close this sidebar. I think sometimes it's closed by default. I have it open by default. I like just seeing everything here. And you can go to explore and you'll see all of these. You can also um, go and click on your name down here and go to my GPT. Same thing, it will load up everything here. So first things first, let me show you the ones that are already on here made by OpenAI. So I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see I'm gonna load more and let's go through some of the ones that are the best for print on demand, best for art. Now, a lot of these are not for art. They're, you know, text driven and things like that. And they're really cool, but they're not going to help you design anything. So um, we got Dolly, we got data analysis, Santa is a new one. The first one I want to share with you is this coloring book hero. So I'm going to just click on it. And you can see, take any idea and turn it into a whimsical coloring book pages. So all you have to do is click on here what you want the coloring book to be. And it knows to make a white background, make it just black and white so that people can color it and, and so on. So I'm just going to do a uh, kawaii, so the style of it, uh, dog. That's it. Very simple prompt. I don't have to say knock out the background. I don't say you have to use a white background or... Uh, line art or whatever it knows this GPT already knows I'm making a coloring book and this is what I'm gonna do so there you go very simple coloring book and you can also say I want a detailed things with flowers everywhere or something so let me do one that's more detailed a unicorn with rainbows and hearts oh with a rainbow and hearts and this will do the same thing. It knows to do black and white and white background. You can see I'm not telling it that it needs to be a coloring book page. It already knows that it's going to be a coloring book page. And you can do, you can say make 10 pages. You can make 30 pages or whatever. And it does it. Look at that. So cool. And if you like this, you can say make another in the same style with a, a cat. Okay, and then this way you can make sure that your coloring books stay in the same kind of style. Once you found one that you like, you know, it can, it's not going to do exactly the same, but it's hopefully going to make it very close. And here we go. Sometimes it's going to get knocked out and, you know, you may have to fix that. But for the most part, it's going to make a nice um, 
and maybe they didn't put it in here to not have it knocked out. Um, you can do that when you make your own. So let me get out of here and show you another one. This one's really cool though if you're into KDP and want to do coloring books. So let's explore a little bit more. Um, the other one I really liked is Sticker Wiz. So if you're going to do sticker on uh, Redbubble or something, you can see right here some of these actually have um, things that you can just click just to try it out. So I'm going to do that. Um, make a cute sticker manga style sticker of a cat. Let's see what it comes up with. And of course you can write your own prompts for this too, but just to show you what this GPT is going to do in comparison to the other one, which was a coloring book, this one knows to make it a sticker with a white outline around it. And look, perfect sticker. So you can see what it looks like. Of course, you're going to, when you download this, you're going to have to remove everything, but it is a vector. So you could vectorize this and then remove these things really easy. If you want me to show you how to do that, I can do another video for that, but it's super easy with uh, Affinity Designer or any vector program like Illustrator or Inkscape. All right, so let's try another one. Um, let's go back to Explore. Uh, this Cosmic Dream's kind of cool. It's down here. So let me see, Cosmic Dream right there. I'm gonna click on it and you can see uh, it's a painter, so it's not, uh, it's more like a poster kind of thing. Well, let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to hit uh, emoji right here and see what Cosmic Dream does. And so this one's also an art one, but a very different style than what we've seen in the other ones. The other ones was a coloring book and then a sticker. And this one's more kind of a full bleed, full thing. So Look at that, very <laughs> cosmic dreamy, so very dreamy thing. And I think this could work well for maybe posters or something, um, you know, have that dreamy state. I wouldn't put this on a t-shirt, um, maybe, maybe in a circle or something like that, but just as a square, I don't think it would work on a t-shirt, but it is really cool, really cool looking. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see, I know there's another one. Oh, hot mods. Okay, so you can modify this one modifies an image. So I'm going to do So you can see mod this um, derby race car, turn this uh, paint jet black and so on. I'm going to take something from my desktop. This is this is a design I made a long time ago. I'm just going to drag it in right here. And you can see there I did like this uh, kawaii dumpster that's on fire. So I'm going to say uh, make this even uh, crazier. I don't know. Let's see. So there it is. And then the hot mods, you can see it's taking the prompt and it's going to try and take what you put in here and update it. And let's see how it does it. Now it may not be the same style. It may be a different style. Yeah, <laughs> but it just went crazy, right? So you could tell this thing to remove the background. Um, like cool, but make the background white. So it's recognizing that it's a dumpster with a face on it. So it did a dumpster with the face on it, but it then like upped it, like turned up the level to level 11, right? So you can't really use this with um, that background, but look with this background, you can. So you can take this, this would be a cool sticker. Um, or something on a t-shirt and then you could put words over it and something but very cool, right? All right, I think that's from Explorer. Let's see um, And you can see most of these are more like chat GPT stuff where it's you know Ask me anything about laundry help me with a recipe or, or things like that So not all of these are, are art stuff but I did try and make my own. So these are the two that I made here. One I'm calling the Kawaii Creator. Let's take this for a test spin. Uh, it replicates the style of Kawaii art. So I went in there and asked it to, you know, do some things. And then it says you can draw a cute cat in the Kawaii style, design a Kawaii themed birthday card, and so on. Let's do this panda one. And of course, you can write your own prompts in here. It could be a dog, a sloth, or whatever. It could even be food, like sushi or a hamburger or whatever. But it's going to try and do the best to do a simple illustration, kind of like my um, Corgi right here, a simpler illustration. Yeah, 
of a panda. Pretty cool, right? Kawaii with the big eyes and the stars and so on. And I asked it to make sure that it had a white background so that when I come in here, I can take out the background and put it on a t-shirt or make it a sticker or whatever. So really cool. I don't have to type all that stuff in the prompts anymore. The other one I'm trying right now is called this vintage poster creator and I make sure that it's the same aspect ratio of the posters on display and on Redbubble. And let's see what this does. Um, this one's a hit and miss. I'm not really done with it. I'm still trying to teach it what I want it to do, but we'll see where it's at right now. So I made sure that it does like this vintage style kind of travel poster stuff that you, you've seen online before. And it's gonna try and recreate that. Sometimes it puts text in it. Sometimes it does, yeah, see? But look how cool that is, this vintage style. And I could, you know, crop it to make sure that it fits on a poster. So I'm not too worried about this, this text under here. Usually when it does the text, it does it underneath in a different color and I can easily crop it out. But some really cool kind of vector art, but in a vintage style. So that's what that is. So I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. If you have lots of ideas, if you saw something that's not on here already, that's not one of those on there, you can make your own. So let's go back to explore and create GPT. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is several things. You're gonna to have to teach this GPT what you want. So first, we're gonna to go to configure and we're gonna hit this plus button. So we can upload a photo or use Dolly. I'm gonna use Dolly. Really, I should name the GPT first and then use Dolly, but maybe I can help it out a bit. So see, Dolly doesn't know what we're making, so it just gave me something super generic. Um, let's do it again but uh, let's change the name. So we've already done stickers, we've done posters. Um, let's do something with just line art, just line art. I think that would be good. So name our thing, you can see right here, line art maker. Boom, we can save that. And then it's gonna try and change that. And then what does this, what does this GPT do? Uh, create, line art of different, well, it's saying it's two words, line art of different um, things. I don't know. Oh, create simple line art. Let's do that. Simple line art of different things. So the instructions here is like your prompt. So let's do this. Uh, draw, uh, create a line art graphic with a white, wait, let's do, make sure a simple line art graphic or a black, let's see, simple black line art graphic with a white background. Let's do something as simple as that and then we'll teach it um, more and more. And then conversation starters, um, draw a line art of a flower. Right, uh, and this is what goes over here. So the, the four that we'll see over here, um, create a line art of a cowboy hat. Uh, draw a simple line art tree. Uh, and create a line art of a cat. Good, okay, let's do that. Uh, no web browsing, just the image generation and good. All right, so let's create something. Oh, let's do, and we, so now that it's right here, I'm going to create and I'm gonna tell that to do more things. So. I don't think this is representative line art, so I'm gonna say, make my profile picture line art. Line art of a flower uh, on a white background. I'm gonna try one of these here, I'm gonna do the line art of a flower. Let's see what it does. So it's just starting to learn right now. 
This is the first one. And if it's not right, we're going to go back and teach it that we need to change some things. So let's see what it comes up with. Hey, that's pretty simple, right? So let's go back and we can explore and we can edit this one. So this is where we will edit this. The line art was super simple. Can, can we make it more detailed and still have all the lines connect? All right, so this is something that we're gonna tell them and let's see what happens. So you can see now it's saying that it updated it. So let's try it again. Uh, and you can see these change too. If I go to configure, it changed some of these things to make it more detailed. So let's try the cityscape one. Um, it's behind here. I'm going to do cityscape. Oh, it wasn't behind here. Is that right there? So I'm going to try some of these and let's see how detailed it was. Remember the first one was a flower and now we're going to try and make it more detailed by adding those prompts. And we didn't actually have to write the prompt. It did the instructions for us because we wrote that it needed to be more detailed. So you can use this and that's like way too detailed, well, unless that's what we want. But um, now we can kind of scale it back. So let's go back in here and say, this is too detailed and scale it back. Or can you scale it back? Okay, so now it's we're trying to teach it like in between. So if it was, if we were doing the kawaii one, we're gonna say the kawaii one, if we saw it was too much uh, detail, then we can scale it back. Or if it's not a vector and you want it to be a vector, you can tell it to do that and so on. So I think this is really cool though. Like, I think this could be really cool um, for other things, but I think for a t-shirt, it might be too much detail. But if you want it as a poster, you can. Okay, so now it's saving. I'm gonna update and save it and then do this again. And let's see how well it does with the other prompt. So it, it changed the, the questions again, right? Uh, according to the prompt that we did, you can see that the instructions are changed and you're gonna have to do this back and forth, back and forth things. And this could take a long time to get it just right, but I wanted to show you, that's all you really need to do is to configure this and keep testing it out until it's the way you want it. So let's say this is the way you want it. You can stop here. Or if you wanna make sure that it, it's less detailed or more detailed than this, then you can do it. And you can just try things out, like tr keep trying it till you get it right. And if it's not right, tell it, tell G the uh, chat GPT how to change it and do it. And then once you do it, you save it. So I'm gonna say, you can um, say it's just for me. You can give it to people with a link. Like I'll, I'll give you some with the link. I'll put the link in the description for the kawaii one and for the poster one. And then you can go um, share this to the public so that people can find it as well. So have fun with this, make your own, think of different things that can help you speed up the process. That's what this is. It's kind of speeding up the process for you. So you don't have to write those long prompts. You can just go in right away and do a kawaii or do a sticker or do a coloring book or do any of those things. So there you go. Hopefully this was really helpful for you to see the power of chat GPT and all the GPTs that are out there are ready to help you save time and to so that you can create your own, uh, get creative out there, uh, think of different things that can really help you with your production or what you like to do. Maybe it's your style, maybe it's uh, the products that you like to go on. Uh, if you wanna learn more about chat GPT, I have this video, this is the latest one I did for chat GPT how to do really simple prompts and kind of just talk back and forth. You're kind of talking to it like a real person. It, it's really cool. Thanks again for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.